Do you openly talk about sex with your spouse? Hmm. And I should also ask, do you talk about sex in a variety of ways and places? All right, you might need some more details on that. And we're going to unpack it today. As a matter of fact, this is our last question about why do couples struggle with intimacy in marriage? But first, thanks so much for joining me. I'm Mary Whitman Ortiz, relationship coach, Christian sex educator, author, and speaker. And I love to help couples all around the world to create great intimacy in their marriage. And you have to be intentional with it. I just have to tell you up front. So please join us every week. We have new videos. I'd love for you to like and subscribe and share. And uh, let's get back to our question. The fourth reason that couples struggle with intimacy in marriage, even though you think it should just be automatic and spontaneous, it's because you have missing sexual intimacy skills. Now, I don't mean to offend you, and I'm not questioning your biology, okay? I'm sure that you are aware of how to make things happen. But there is more than just body parts moving at the right time and the right rhythm. Wouldn't you agree? Because I think that sexual intimacy is a spirit, soul, body experience. So let's get all of us on board here to make this happen. What are some of the sexual skills that you're missing? Well, talking about it, which is what I asked you when we began here. What kinds of things can you talk about? You can talk about what you like, what you don't like, who's going to initiate, what's the frequency. I mean, the list of questions is long. There's so much to discuss. You can ask your spouse, hey, what did you think about sex when you were a child, a teenager, when you were early dating? Um, if this is a second marriage, it's certainly appropriate to talk about what sex was life like for each of you in first marriages. The list goes on and on. Ask what you want, what you want less of, what you want more of, so many things to talk about. Um, what else is uh, a sexual skill that you need to acquire? Well, I hate to break it to you, but you're going to have different sex drives and that's going to be completely normal. Doesn't mean you've fallen out of love with each other. It doesn't mean that you are not compatible. It's actually a given. More times than not, couples, spouses have different sex drives. Also, it might differ within a week, a month, a year, a season, you know? Your body goes through a lot. For women, there's so many hormonal things. There's childbearing years. There's menopausal years. Um, for men, there's different seasons of work. Um, aging affects your body. Um, overeating, overindulging, just stress. And haven't we all been through some stress? So it's okay if your body's a little different right now. That's a part of loving each other. We can look at 1 Corinthians 13. You know, the love chapter read at weddings. And it says that love adapts, that it's not selfish, that it believes the best in each other. We can apply that to our sex life. So see, that's a part of the spiritual aspect of sex. Isn't that cool? God doesn't miss a beat. He knows that the best intimacy is the whole intimacy. So there are many things you can do to address how your desires might be differing. And yep, you can learn some of that. I've got some great resources about paths to arousal, to open conversations there, to find out what those steps are. But just be aware, yes, we do have sexual differences. And um, your first step of action is to say, what do I like? What gets me there faster? Gonna help your spouse so much if you know for yourself 
If you can say it in love and don't just expect them to be a mind reader and to know what you want every single time. So having that information will absolutely make a difference in your sex life. Hey, would you do me a favor? I am asking this month for people to subscribe to my channel. I'm about to push that 1000 mark in subscribers and I just want to reach more people because I know that these things, especially in the Christian community, are not being addressed and it's time. Well, it's past time. So please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thanks again for being here. Remember that when your marriage thrives, everything in life thrives.